Welcome back to another ERC video in Modern Black Squad. So in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the admin panel and moderation panel for the PRC moderators and administrators. So let's go ahead and get right on into it. Have you guys ever wondered what it's like to be a PRC moderator or what commands they might have or what the dashboard looks like or how everything works? Because I certainly have. I've always wondered that. And before I start, I just want to say that we weren't able to actually get access to the PRC moderator and administrator dashboard or panel, but we were able to get some screenshots to it. So it's pretty cool. So our first screenshot here, we could see it says admin panel. And this is for all the admins in Liberty County. This is also accessible to the game moderator. So it says admin panel and it says select a button to access the desired admin panel. So they have settings, they have add bands, then they can see active bands, they can see group bands, they can see PRC game moderators, and then they can also see data management. So that would have to do with your money and your XP right up here. It could also do with like your ranks and stuff. It's pretty cool that they have all this and they're able to access all this from the PRC dashboard. Now keep in mind, Flatbird is the owner of the Circle Discord bot. He's also a PRC moderator and he made all of the like basically the admin panel moderator panel all that stuff he's basically like the back-end web developer person i guess you would call him so he creates all the stuff for example he created the webhook stuff i'm pretty sure so basically the command log commands log webhook and the kick slash ban log webhooks those are both in prc discord server so that they could see who mods are banning what commands are using and stuff it's pretty cool it's um it's very useful actually for private server owners as well as the PRC moderation team. But I'm pretty sure uh, Flatbird has created all of that. At least I know for sure he's uh, created their like little system or whatever um, to manage bands and stuff. So it's pretty cool. But let's go ahead and keep going. So we can see here on the game moderator and administrator panel, they're able to look up Roblox users that have played the game through either their Roblox username or their user ID on Roblox. And that's pretty cool because they can get some pretty cool information from this. Some of it, which is when they last joined, the date and time, their currency in game, their ban strikes, if they're early access or not, and how many helicopters they have called. Literally how many helicopters they have called on the police and sheriff team. That is really weird, but it's pretty cool. So we'll um, see a bigger screenshot of this um, with more information on it later on. And that's just a small portion of it. If we take a look at this screenshot here, we can literally see where how they ban a user. So basically, um, to ban a user, they click on the bans button. I'm pretty sure, I'm not 100% sure how it works, but once they get to the bans part, they can type the Roblox user ID in. They can choose a reason. I'm pretty sure they have preset reasons, but then they can also add notes here. As we can see, um, Shiny G said, being noob as a note so pretty interesting however the notes are only internal and shown to staff so a user can't actually see the staff notes that were added but they can also choose the ban length so permanent and i don't know what the other options are um but obviously there's a temporary ban length so that that's pretty cool that they have all that pretty crazy so let's go ahead and take a look at the exploit log so over here we could see on august 8th 2022 during that day exactly 100 automatic game bans took place now that is crazy eros's anti-exploit um system is actually really good and no hacker ever gets past it it's um it's pretty good but that's crazy 100 bans in a day and we'll get an exact number or close to an exact number of about how many bans have been made so far in the game we'll get on to that later let's go ahead and keep going let's let's take a look at their new appeal system so it used to be a google form then it moved to the circle um, circle bot like ban appeal system and now it's an in-game ban appeal system so if you're if you're currently banned in liberty county and you try to play the game it'll teleport you to a different game and you'll be met with this screen so it says you're currently banned from emergency response at liberty county for the following reason roblox terms of service violations exploiting so there's a bunch of different reasons this is just this user's reason or the example i guess um, and it says ban time remaining permanent Appeal status not sent. So, all bans are final and will not be removed unless you are banned by mistake. We log all bans and double check for any false positives. All false bans will be removed automatically, usually within minutes or hours. And you can appeal your ban. I know that Shiny G for a fact has actually unbanned people if their appeal is good enough. So that's pretty cool. It's sad that people actually try to exploit, but 
it happens, but I'm just happy we uh, PRC has a good anti-exploit system. Now, if we look in-game, this is nothing really interesting. I've seen this before, um, but game moderators and administrators have their own little tags above their heads here. So we can see Shiny G has an admin tag. It says Police Roleplay Community, and this tag can be toggled. So they can turn it off and on whenever they want. And when I turn it off, obviously, it pretty much just turns invisible. And when they turn it on, it just, you know, comes back to life. Uh, so it's pretty cool that they can toggle that. That's just so that people can tell whether they are an actual official moderator or not in game. Um, so that's pretty nice because there's a lot of impersonators out there, which isn't very nice. But I think it's pretty cool that we actually have that in game. And over here, we could see a little portion of the commands that they have in the game. So we have three so far. Now, this command is not available to moderators. I assume it's just available to Shawnee G and Mr. Fergie, but they have a fill gas command. So wouldn't it be nice if you're in your car and uh, let's see your truck is almost empty and you could just say fill gas and it would just fill it up all the way that would be really nice but sadly we don't have that that is only a game owner and uh developer command but it's pretty cool they have a fill gas command and then two admin or moderator commands they can freeze players they can unfreeze players as well and they can also warn players and that warn player thing will kind of use like the webhook system so it will send like a log to the um to one of the server channels so that the prc moderators can keep a track of who's being warned for what and why so it's pretty cool then we also see where shiny g logs in or whatever i don't know what that is but so pretty cool that they have all this and then one more command that they also have in game well they have a lot more than than this but this is another command that was revealed they're able to give cash to players in game not just through their panel but also in game so they the command is cash and then the player's username and then however much they want so they could really give 900 billion dollars if they really wanted to that'd be pretty nice but uh so that's pretty cool that they can actually do that in game now let's go ahead and keep looking at the moderator panel so here's what i'm saying where basically they're like the thing where they could look up and see how much how long you've played or whatever is really cool it's very detailed so on their moderator panel they can look at bands they can look up users they could also look at private servers i'm sure they can delete private servers from that little panel too we haven't seen any screenshots from that yet however when they look up a user they can look it up by the roblox id and username like i stated before and then it shows when they last joined their currency their band strikes early are they early access and then helicopter calls that's just a portion of it let's go ahead and keep looking here so they can look at your xp over here look at that for the law enforcement team the fire department team and the dot team that is crazy they can also look at your time played which this dude i think he plays too much but he's played for six days 17 hours 32 minutes and 29 seconds not only does it tell them how long you've played the game as a total it tells you how long you've spent on teams so civilian law enforcement officer fire and dot and um yeah this guy has played way too much but still pretty cool and then it also shows you what private servers you own as well as the code to that private server and then it shows them previous bans. so this guy was banned for flying exploit um i don't know what the rest of that is but that's pretty cool and then down over here it also shows you dev products so it shows um what you've bought in the game this includes game passes but we can see this guy has bought a bunch of cash in the game it shows you the date and the time and then it also shows you purchases so in-game purchases this guy obviously purchased a car license plate so that's pretty cool but it shows you how like what guns you've purchased stuff like that and that's really useful in case there was like you purchased something and you didn't get it in game then the moderators can confirm whether you actually did or whether you're lying just to get something for free so that is pretty cool so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did go ahead smash the like button and subscribe go join the group and discord server both those linked down below in the description and let me know if you want me to make another video like this trying to find more secrets within the prc community because it is honestly pretty fascinating pretty cool and um i hope they will release or show us some more commands that they have in game because it's honestly pretty awesome but i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and i'll be catching you guys in the next one see ya